Hello and welcome to the Crafty Ninja channel. I started with Todd and I just took a ball of clay and added a little piece here in the middle to create the top part of his mouth and here I'm just shaping his eyes. Then I just follow that up by start adding a little bit of clay to the side of his cheeks just to create more of that smile shape that he has and a little tuft of fur on the side of his face. Here I'm just smoothing out and shaping the areas where his eyes are going to go. Then adding a little bitty ball of clay to create his nose. Here I'm just creating the bottom part of his mouth and shaping it and blending it into his head. Then I add a little bitty ball of clay just for the eyes and blend them in. And an itty bitty bitty piece of clay to create the eyebrows. Here I'm just adding a little bit of clay to kind of create this shape that makes it look like his eyes are smiling. Here I'm just adding the tongue and I'm blending it into the bottom part of his mouth. Then I took two little bitty balls of clay to create some teeth on the bottom part of his mouth. Then once I finished his teeth, I did the other side of his face. Now I'm just adding the little tuft of fur that's on the top of his head. Here I'm just using some small pieces of clay to create some loose tufts of fur. Next, I moved on to the ears and I just created these little triangle shaped pieces of clay and added some little tufts of fur inside the ears. Then I placed them on the sides of his head and then blended them in. Once I was fully happy with the shape of his head, then I started adding some fur texture and detailing. Okay, so once I was finished with Todd's head, I moved on to coppers and I just created these little sockets in the head and some balls of clay to create the eyes and blended them in. Then I took these small little pieces of clay to create the eyelids. I know he looks a little bit like Squidward, but we're creating the bridge of his nose right here. Because he's a hound dog, they have like these very big thick folds that go right over their eyes, so we're creating that right over the top of his eyes and blending it in. Okay, now we're going to start making him look a little bit more like a dog and I took this 
kind of an oval shaped piece of clay to create the top portion of his mouth and then this little ball at the tip of it to create the nose. So for the bottom portion of his jaw I just did it separately and then I added the two little balls of clay for his teeth and then I added it to the bottom part of his jaw. So I'm adding this little extra clay to create some folds in his cheek to really pronounce that smile that he has. Then once I was happy with his smile, then I added the ears. Once I was finished with the heads, then I just added the torso and I just took these oval pieces of clay and blended it in. Okay, so he is partially rolled over in this scene, so I'm creating the left leg that's kind of rolled over to his side and I'm blending it in. And then I took a long piece of clay and made it the foot. Then I took a curled piece of clay to recreate the front leg that's going to be underneath him. Then I shaped another piece of clay for his top left leg that's going to lay right across his body. And then I added the tail. I wasn't completely happy with the shape of his paws, so I just added a little bitty balls of clay to each of his toes just to make his toes a little bit bigger and more pronounced. And once I was completely happy with the shape of his body, then I started adding some fur texture. Once I had finished Todd, then I started shaping Copper's body and I kind of created it like in a shape of a jelly bean and then I'm adding these back legs and paws. And then next I added his tail. I continued by adding another piece of clay to recreate that back leg and paw. For his left front paw, I wanted it to lay right across Todd's body and then I just blend it in and then I start creating the little toes on his paws. And for his other front leg, I just made it straight and placed it right behind Todd's back. Then once I was finished with his body, then I added his head and blended it in. To finish it off, I added a little bit of a fur texture.
So now that I'm finished with Copper and Todd, I'm going to move them off to the side and then I'm going to place some clay on top of this wood base. So for the bushes, I added these balls of clay and I took a larger ball tool just to kind of create a bush shape and then I took a smaller ball tool to create more of a leaf leaf like texture. When I was happy with my bushes, then I started adding some grass texture right around Copper and Todd. And I just used my needlepoint tool and I left a little area where I wanted it to be kind of a little dirt patch right in the middle of my grass. And because this is a 10th anniversary gift to my husband and best friend, I had to include our favorite line, you are my very best friend, to the front of this design. Now that it's time to paint, I decided to start with my base and I painted the little dirt patch that I wanted them to sit on first and then I used this darker green to create that grass texture and also I used that same color on the bushes. While my base was drying, I decided to start painting copper and I just started painting the lighter brown portion of his fur. Then I took some burnt umber and painted the ears and the couple spots on his back and on his leg. Then I took this linen white color and painted his mouth, his belly, and his paws. And then I finished copper up by painting his eyes white, of course, and then the little black pupil and black on his nose. For Todd, I had this pumpkin orange that I used, but I didn't really feel like it fit his color, so I added just a little bit of a red to it to kind of tone it down a little bit. Then I used the same linen white color for the lighter portions of his fur. Then 
I finished him up by painting his paws this burgundy red color. Now that my base is dry, I really wanted these letters to pop, so I added just a little bit of black to them. And here is my finished Copper and Todd diorama that I made for my 10th anniversary to my husband and best friend. I really hope you enjoyed watching me make this. I really loved making this. This was one of my favorite movies growing up. If you are new to my channel and you would like to see more of the things that I make, like and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my new designs. As always, have a great day and remember to stay crafty.